hey virgo welcome back to my channel this is kelly from house of virgo if you're new please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading keep in mind this is a general love reading some messages may or may not be for you take what fits leave the rest this is a channel for virgo sun moon rising or venus but all signs are welcome all right virgo so whoa let's get into this welcome back to another episode of your love life okay you've got coffin endings bringing new beginnings growth change liberation and a transition and you have clock oh taking time time to heal and progress okay something's ended uh, a new beginning opening up for you but this feels like it's timed okay uh let's see nine o'clock is a, a very significant time for someone you've also got abundance to so keep a positive mindset so virgo this feels to me like you put the last nail in the coffin in regards to um putting an end to something or you will be in may and um now it's just slow growth and progress for your abundance um you're removing the blocks to your abundance the thing is your abundance virgo is already there waiting for you um you just have to remove the restrictions and the walls to be able to access it okay um it's not when is my abundance going to come when am i going to have like this finale of fantasticness happen in my life it's like all there you just have to chip away and carve away at that cement wall that is blocking you from that okay you were born abundant <laughs> virgo and sometimes we put those restrictions in our way we self-sabotage um i know it's crazy but sometimes well i just have like a million thoughts messages coming into my head i just I've, i want to get into all of them i just feel like the biggest thing here right now for you um is that it's up to you to access your abundance okay you also have palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance and flexibility um so i feel like overall the message here for you going forward virgo is you kind of have to um get rid of something that's been restricting you or holding you back for um however long um in order to have growth change and to liberate yourself from something to have this transition um and then patiently wait right like or not patiently wait but be patient with putting these restrictions or removing rest all right stop slow down be patient with yourself as you remove your restrictions and your blocks for some of you your abundance it's kind of like i'm just seeing this brick wall and for each and behind that brick wall is like this ray of light and for each brick that you remove a little bit of light shows through um and i feel like for you this is like removing this wall brick by brick and that's going to take some time but as you do this um, your abundance will begin to shine through even more with every removed brick, right? Um, and I feel like what's on the other side of this wall, as far as like your like your abundance, is freedom. Really, um, it's bliss. Um, for some of you, uh, it's like getting back to self. That's what I feel like. Getting back to self or re-engaging with self improving yourself mentally emotionally spiritually physically okay um the palm tree like i said it represents some kind of flexibility as well so there's a removal of rigidity as as well that's interesting let me see something here yeah just growth and stability getting yourself in a more secure place now this feels like it's about you virgo this whole situation okay i do want to take wait they just said get one more island time card okay mask there you go not showing true feelings hiding personify pretend so um virgo i feel like you're not sh so okay they just said you might have been wearing a mask for a really long time um in order to kind of survive a situation or cope with something um okay 
that's just a very small message for someone um, or you could have been connecting with someone who's been doing that and the mask they just kept wearing some kind of mask not being authentic and true or not showing their true feelings hiding from you um, and kind of looks to me like you are like like I said rest in peace Samarafa. you're letting go here you're definitely letting go. All right. I wasn't going to pull the romance angels, but I kind of feel like it tonight. Staying optimistic about your love life, Virgo. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So as far as love goes, there's definitely an energy of staying optimistic. You also have to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Um, so yeah, you're optimistic about love, but you ain't no dummy. And uh, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel, Virgo, you are definitely opening yourself up to love going forward. There's no doubt. Okay. Lessons learned for some, I guess. But there's also this like ability to now um, separate the shaft from the wheat. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not like, okay, this person is, has all these qualities and I'm not going to look any further and that's going to be enough. It's more like you're using a very vetted eye and your senses and your intuition about other people, whether that's romantic, friends. Yes, I have a band-aid on my finger. Romantic, friends family people that you let into your life you seem to be more interested in cultivating relationships that can participate in abundant thinking not people who are trying to take away from your abundance or try to cheat lie steal or take something from you okay so that those were the red flags that i feel like you are you're looking at now i don't know virgo you you've raised your vibration in some way i'm not seeing yet anybody popping in just yet but you're definitely um in this position where you're kind of taking some power back here with your your love life okay which is good all right let's get into the tarot and see we're gonna take a if somebody shows up somebody shows up um but we're gonna take a look at you and yeah if somebody else shows up oh look at this beautiful you've got the high priestess so virgo may is definitely a time for you hello becoming more in tune with your psyche definitely or your psychic visions psychic beliefs your spiritual connection um your faith your wisdom the high priestess is always someone who is very intuitive and trusts themselves okay the high priestess keeps it quiet high priestess doesn't really say much um her secrets and her wisdom and the things that she knows she basically and this is that feminine energy she basically it's kind of like i feel your approach or just your your being in May is kind of like, why do I need to, people wouldn't understand what I know. Um, you know, the high priestess, she has a very like, um, she has, she's like a higher being. She has this, these intuitive messages that come to her. Um, she has like the answers and the keys to mysteries, you know, and trying to explain it to people she's almost angelic and trying to explain it to people on a very basic level they wouldn't get it you know um but even if they do get it that's kind of like i don't know i just see you with like your mouth closed and you're kind of like just nodding your head like i fully understand this and this is way beyond what many people can actually comprehend you, you gain some knowledge for sure in may and you don't say anything you don't open your mouth uh, with some secrets or some things that have been gifted to you or that you find out or that you know wow that's pretty profound Ooh. okay now you have this six of cups i feel like this reading is taking on a life of its own um 
there is some knowledge about something in the past um, that you're not going to say anything to anyone about. It's either a person, place, or a thing. Um, there's a memory of some sort or a desire, a secret desire to have a reunion with someone. Um, to reunite with someone from your past, but you're not, you're like, nope, closed mouthed. You're not speaking it out into the open. You're not telling friends. You're not even telling siblings or anyone close to you. Why are these two cards like that? If they come back up, they come back up. But I feel like overall, this is all like just you okay so you've got the five of swords hmm for some of you there is something to do with some bad things that might have happened in your childhood this is supposed to be coming out to be a, 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 a romantic love reading but it looks like i guess they want to talk about this so maybe there was some childhood bullying or um uh, maybe some violence or some things that happened that you're not saying nothing. Why aren't you, why are you keeping this to yourself, Virgo? Why aren't you talking about this or sharing this? For some of you, it might just come to you or you have a memory about it. Yeah, look. Oh, something happened to somebody on a beach as a child but there is definitely there's something to do here that happened in childhood that oh my goodness sometime in the summer as well where mm -mm, that's blocking you're so heavily guarded you're not saying anything now for those of you that this isn't resonating for something in the childhood i'm also picking some, maybe something to do with your kids um, or something to do with grandchildren or some or somebody else's kids um, or it's some type of reunion or something uh, that you would like to have with someone but sh there's something to do here with um, pushing away the negatives in order to just be like jolly happy i feel like you don't want to share or tell another person about um something not good that happened in a connection you know yeah you're keeping your mouth shut you're you're guarding your heart you're not letting anybody in you're not you don't want to bring it up okay that's some heavy duty stuff here um some for some of you this could have had something to do with someone who passed away and um, it was very negative, the relationship, and you are um, trying to heal from that or it pops up. Yeah. Um, hmm. Heavy duty stuff. Okay. Well, at least we have an hour, so we can try to see what else is coming up here. Okay. Let me see. For some of you, there could have been, this situation could have had something to do specifically with either a Leo cancer or a pisces okay what else is coming up here for you um you might reconcile also with someone or have a reunion with someone and never speak a word about it if it's something they did or something that just happened to you um it looks like you're making a decision in may to keep that hush hush da, 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 da. um Okay, some of you are going to be getting some really great news um, while you're at work. Um, or there's going to be some, somebody's going to send some flowers or you're going to get some, inf like, some text messages or mail or something. Maybe snail mail. Um, it's going to be a surprise. You're not even going to know it, okay, in May. Um, there, it's definitely love is kind of attached to this in a lot of ways. I don't, you know, it's crazy. I'm not really sure in all the years I've been doing this um, why the Eight of Wands is connected to Cupid's Arrows. I have been saying it for such a long time, um, but it's really nowhere in the Tarot. <laughs> 
that it is connected to it and somebody must have said it somehow some way um and it just kind of spread like wildfire um i definitely see though um speaking of wildfire someone bringing a lot of kindling to start a fire with you and it's positive it's a good thing you know um but you are going to get some good news while you are either at work or while you're in your backyard building your garden <laughs> or whatever you're working on that's requiring your attention and you're fully focused um, there's also perhaps some travel news that, that you don't expect okay somebody might be um, and, and it's gonna come in pretty fast a, a quick change is gonna happen let me see what else is going on here Somebody could be coming to see you at your job or at your work. Also, wherever you work, um, whether you're in an, uh, another location or you work from home, you might get some knock at the door. Okay, let me see. There's definitely news, though. You will be getting, getting some news. Okay, for some of you, um, there's positive news about a legal situation. And um, I feel like it's going to be fair. Like you're going to get, that could be that good news that's coming in. Okay. Um, and it's going to be fair. I feel like um, this is connected to some kind of judge or something is making some, weighing some, weighing things out. Oh, oh, okay. They're giving me now weights and measures. Huh, what does that have to do with? Okay, so yeah, there's definitely, you're going to get some good news about a legal proceeding. I want to say that. Uh, you might not have a legal proceeding or anything going on right now. That's fine. You might get, you might be part of like one of those lawsuits where, um, you know, you, they, they send, you get a knock on the door, they, something in the mail, and it's like part of a class action suit, and you have like, I don't know, three dollars out of it, <laughs> whatever. Three bucks is three bucks, right? So um, there's that, but I'm also seeing something to do with weights and measures here. You're weighing something. Are you stepping on the scale? Um, your weight is fluctuating a lot. Um, don't be discouraged. You're working hard. Yeah, I feel like this now message is coming through here. Something to do with your fitness, your health. Um, your weight might be going up and down and you're having a hard time getting past. Um, <laughs> why isn't this a love reading? What's going on? You're having a hard time getting past. I think because you ended something <laughs> or you're ending something and you're just like, well, there's no love, so let me focus on myself. <laughs> That's fine. It's going the way it's going. Um, you're working really hard. I see that. You're putting in a lot of effort into yourself. Um, you will start hearing from people about the changes that you've made, but you might not really be seeing it on the scale I'm hearing. Okay, what else is going on with that? And it doesn't have to be like even scale stuff. It could even have something to do with like muscular, like body changes, toning, stuff like that. Okay. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> don't be the judge and jury to the point where, well, I just want to say, just keep going at it. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And if you're doing sprints, keep at it. Um, okay, hold on a minute. Yeah, so I kind of feel like um, Virgo, um, it, whatever changes, okay, that you are making in your life, the effort that you're putting in, um, it's a slow and steady pace. Just keep at it. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, don't step on the scale. That's also what I'm hearing. Get away from the scale because it might discourage you if it's not going down as fast as you can. Just focus on the goal. The, the scale should not be the goal. Let the goal be how your clothes fit, right? That's what I'm just hearing. Okay, where is where is the love? Does Virgo... Okay. Oh, I just said where is the love. Okay, so I'll immediately we have three cards flipped out. 
All right. Um, so there's an air sign that's showing up here who, um, this might be somebody you ended something with. Um, this person is kind of like a collector of hearts. I don't know if they actually are, but I kind of feel like this person is some kind of trophy holder. And, um, you ended a relationship with this person you've ghosted perhaps and that might be why you've got the high priestess because you're kind of gone into high priestess is very similar to the hermit in that there's like no communication um virgo this person um wants you to get back up on that shelf <laughs> and virgo's like you can't see me you can't see me i don't exist you can't see me you can't see me i don't exist I'm not here. Oh, they're like kind of fantasizing about you. Oh, ooh, that's some energy right there. Okay, so this is either a romantic relationship or it's a friend or a family member. Virgo has left the scene of the crime. Virgo has disappeared like Batgirl, Batman, just disappeared immediately can't be found went off the radar and somebody is kind of wondering where you are um and i do feel like wants to kind of i don't want to say kind of i feel like they're going to initiate some communication with you going forward um but they're going to be talking to a ghost um an apparition let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, this person's like... Look at all the trophies behind the Queen of Swords here. And that's pretty much like... Give me that... That's like a... This person's a collector. That's what I'm seeing. 16 years, they just told me. So it's something to do with 16 years. But this person... Um, Okay, they're a collective of hearts, but I also feel like some of you now they're just telling, leading me into this, that some, there might be someone that makes an offer on a collection that you have. Okay, this is financial. Um, they're, they're not so much financial, but y y there will be some communication with someone who wants to buy something from you that is very unique or very special. Um, at least they think it is, or maybe you don't even know it is, and they, they, come over here like hey you know that thing's worth such and such amount you know um and you're kind of like oh i don't know this is something antique or something that's under some sheets could be some old furniture something in someone who passes away the house um if you have some kind of like um you know a home sale or something um or if you're selling um it's one of those, you know, estate sales or something. Either you go to one and you peek under the sheet and you see something um, that's like, holy, oh my God, it's worth so much money. There's a little bit of luck in this. They're bringing me into this. Uh, and Or if someone makes an offer on something you have, okay? So you're going to come into... <clears throat> You're going to come into something, definitely. Uh, you know, if you if you got like nine pieces of something and you're, you want to finish a collection of ten... Yeah, you're going to find it. And, and just so you know, um, it's going to be hidden right in plain sight. They're just saying, okay. Um, but back to the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is basic. This is such an interesting reading. I'm almost enjoying this. This Queen of Swords is going to try to talk to you. Wants to know, like they want, you know, they're also a collector. Um, the emotional collector. Um, needs that fill. And they could choose really anyone to get it from you know plenty of people out in the open and available but they want you because you're i don't know <laughs> look at you what do you got like christmas garland all around you or what you're just kind of like i'm not here um it's the mysteriousness virgo you coming in with that mysteriousness and i don't know that you're doing it on purpose you're just virgo you got nothing to say that's what I feel like is going on here. You have, like, I don't know, you're in your quiet season, Virgo. I think you have nothing to say to a particular person or many people, or you're just like, I have more peace when my mouth is shut. 
I have more peace when my mouth is shut. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what's going on here for you um, with another person here. Like I said, it could be romantic, it could be a friend. There's there's people, uh, people, places, or things, or a person who's looking for you. Let me see what else is going on. Virgo's like, listen, I'm just trying to sell my antiques so I can make some money here. Okay, you got the Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Definitely money. Ooh, the tower. Uh, I'm going to hold that off there for a second. Um, okay. Um, okay. I'm seeing um, some thoughts about... Some thoughts about... Um, putting some money or investing in some type of education whether that's yours or somebody else's uh, there's also um, someone a child or uh, if you have a child or a grandchild that's in um, school um, they get a job offer they get like a job if they're in college not fifth grade <laughs> the um, but it could also be someone who's ele elementary school who's um, they've got this amazing idea for the summer to make money um, very profitable okay there's definitely something going on here with wanting to learn um, and paying for some type of education and learning okay let me see maybe furthering your degree for some of you could be going back to school it doesn't have to be for a degree some of you it may just be for enrichment maybe you're just going to take you could be taking some kind of building or architecture classes or learning um, interior design or uh, maybe an idea that you're going to work for a place and take on or you're going to take on some mentors for your business um, yeah that energy is definitely playing out here take on um, apprentices an apprentice or two or something like that and teach also you could be um, a teacher or a professor or someone who is in a mentor position where um, you're definitely doing some more learning um, paying for some more learning or um, thinking about starting some kind of a teaching business um, something along those lines okay and uh, some of you might even be like um, personal training fitness look at them guns what's that white thing around his is that like a wristband somebody might have a white wristband that they wear around um, their wrist all the time maybe you wear a watch like an Apple watch with a white whitish kind of band I don't feel like you should go to the gym dressed like that, though. <laughs> um, somebody's got a beard that is starts on the chin and kind of hangs down under the chin also. Okay. Someone might also be coming in to pay you to teach them something. I'm just hearing. Okay, why is the tower here? Let's see what's going on with this. You know, you guys, it's crazy, but I feel like I like these readings better than the full love. I know you guys like the love readings, but I don't know. These messages seem to resonate. Okay. Wow. The tower and the world in the reverse. Huh. This is a feeling of um, kind of like being stuck in a bad situation. <laughs> oh, okay. No, they're saying it's not stuck in a bad situation. It's something, some kind of upheaval happens. Um, I see. Some kind of upheaval happens, but it doesn't change your world that's what they're saying some kind of upheaval but it doesn't destroy your world um okay so if you have um if you're worried about something something happening um like i don't feel like it's it's going to 
change the trajectory of your path at all. I don't feel like your world's going to get rocked, you know what I mean, from something that happens here. I feel like there's uh, a, definitely a lesson to be learned from it, okay? Um, but I also want to tell you that um, there may be some travel delays due to an weather event or an environmental event, okay? So if you're planning on traveling somewhere that has extreme weather or is not a place that's safe to travel, um, that might come up where um, you're, it's going to be delayed, okay? It's going to get pushed back for safety reasons, okay? I need to say that, what's coming up here. All right, let me see. It's not going to be horrific for you, okay, as a Virgo, because like I said, the world is upside down. Um, and I know it doesn't make sense the way I say that. I mean, yes, this thing will kind of feel like the world's upside down, but you, I don't feel like you're going to be upside down because the the representative of the world in reverse is kind of like, it's permanence, which means that you've got your feet firmly planted in the ground, okay? Um, and whatever the issue is here, you may, they're just saying, tell Virgo, um, someone might, you may volunteer to go back and help also with something, okay? This thing is not going to be like the destruction of the world, okay? I'm not predicting that. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, it's interesting we've had only one court card, and of course, it's the Queen of Swords. All right, and here you are. Okay, things are going to be fine, and you're going to be able to resume your travel. Okay, this is, usually the tower does look like completely destructive. Um, it just means that there's going to be some kind of change. It's not the best kind of change. Um, it's a bit of an upheaval. Um, but it is going to turn around, okay, right? Um, and that's why the chariot is here with the Eight of Cups. I feel like wherever you're going is a temporary thing, and you will be able to take that trip, that temporary trip. I, they're just saying, I need to get a, they said pull a card for the tower, because these are all major arcana. So I, yeah, I do kind of feel like you're going to be stuck so in other words, like you could be planning to fly out somewhere or taking a road trip somewhere, but where you live, um, the weather is so bad that you can't go, right? You can't leave, get out of your world, right? Look at all this major arcana, okay? All right, hmm. I feel, it looks like, Virgo, this is something that you might have planned or are planning to do on your own. You're going solo on some kind of trip here. No, they're saying no. Um, pay attention to whatever's going on around you. And they're just saying, like, don't put all your eggs in one basket with this trip. Okay, let me see. What else? All right, you've got the Nine of Swords. And you've got Death. Wow. Things are getting pretty serious over here. Oh, the Seven of Swords. What the hell? What is going on, Virgo? Let me see. Okay. So you're definitely stressed here about some kind of an ending in May. Either someone, um, there's definitely like either a passing on or something, um, not a actual passing on, but there's, uh, may that might have already happened that you're aware of, but this is more like um, having a hard time sleeping. Some of you need to like, when you're stressing, I'm hearing you got to give it, to, you got to like up your faith and, you know, give it to your higher power. When you're stressing about something and you're high anxiety and stress, you really like out of focus on the light. 
Some of you are stressing about someone who was deceitful or um, someone who ran away from a relationship. Really tough situation. And I feel like, um, you know, the seven is, is always, it's always about spirituality. But I also feel like you might have been connected with someone who acted as if they were a very spiritual person, but they were actually very deceptive. Someone who pretended a swindler, um, a snake oil salesman, someone who pretended that they were all knowing and all spiritual and full of the light and wise like the hermit, but the hermit's in the reverse here. Um, somebody is either going to be tricking you going forward in May, or you have been tricked and you found out. Um, and somebody, you know, I'm not seeing any money here connected to this, but something that maybe you were believing in or someone who was, um, uh, it's, they're just, they keep telling me snake oil salesman, snake oil salesman or saleswoman. You're, you're getting um, duped. Uh, there's a duping here. And for some of you, this could be another Virgo, or it could be a Scorpio, okay? But, um, I don't know, Virgo, I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like red flags, that's why you had to pay attention to the red flags, because I feel like you need to keep your eyes open, and I feel like you will, right? You won't, so you've got like the nine of swords, I mean, things could be worse, it could be the ten of swords, you may be stressing because you like want to kill this person, um, figuratively not literally for um some deceitful or deceptive ways or something i don't know like it's i don't know that you're going to find out about something it could be revealed to you though that who you thought was someone who was you know who they were pretending to be um really not that person okay um and that Knight of Swords in the reverse, a real strong um, message of someone who um, is basically very like deliberately cruel or someone that could, you know, do things deliberately. So Virgo, this is why I was saying in the very beginning uh, that you, um, like you have this vetting eye okay and i i feel like things could be a lot worse honestly i do i know that i know this isn't the greatest thing but i feel like things could be a lot worse had you not come to this place in your life or have you not uh, you're almost there if you're not there yet where you're kind of like hold up a minute you're asking questions you're trusting but you're verifying things um and this might be a past energy for some of you or you might come across someone and just kind of you know, get under a little bit of a magic spell. And then, because, you know, even the best of the best can get caught in that. But I feel like you might kind of get caught up a little bit in that in May and just be like, you almost got me. You almost got me, but you didn't get me. You almost got me. I got to give it a hand to you. I got to give it to you. You almost had me there, but nope. You, you get out. You get out. You catch yourself. You catch it whatever this you know someone's just that snake oil energy is someone who's like just selling you a dream whether it's uh someone standing behind a counter um or someone who is like a salesperson or someone who is coming and approaching you with a love thing whatever it is you're paying attention and i think that that's like amazing um can we get something good here for virgo besides like a little a little something i mean you are going to get a little something something <laughs> with some kind of like sale of something for sure there we go that's what we're asking for so you have the two of cups yes okay this is a brand new energy and this is new love okay let's see oh well isn't it something you virgos you cannot stay away from these air signs can you what the hell is going on with you virgos and these air signs aquarius libra gemini oh yeah yeah um well, I'll tell you what, generally the King of Swords represents um, an Aquarius, okay? 
this could be someone on the cusp of Pisces Aquarius. So they would be like February 21st, somewhere along the lines there. Okay, but there is a connection being made with I'm going with an Aquarius. Okay, this feels like yesterday's singles reading. Look, there's a Ten of Cups. Okay, so Virgo. Happily ever after with this person. After, yeah, after betrayal and hitting rock bottom and something. I feel like, Virgo, you're going to make definitely a connection here. You're going to go from the 9 to the 10 after you realize the snake oil salesman. Because I feel like for some of you, you are going to, you know, drive the last nail into the coffin with someone. But there may be some kind of reconciliation. And you may find out that a person who tries to come back into your life is still with that bullshit. And, um that might be the last thing you need to really just confirm that that last nail you put in was definitely meant to be right um and then that frees you up you're freeing yourself up and you connect with someone and for some of you you're going to connect with someone at a wedding this year or some kind of an outdoor engagement in may for sure um is king of swords a good match for you in the upright yes Yes, because um, especially if it's Gemini. Now, I know some of you have had bad things with Geminis, but understand um, Gemini is, when they're in the reverse, understand it's not just the sign that you're connecting with is bad overall. You have to understand to yourself, okay, is this, when you know the characteristics, is this Gemini in the reverse? Because if they are in the reverse, it can be someone who is very corrupt, maybe a con artist, um, they bribe, they're abusive, they could be very cold, rigid, dishonest, and unkind. But when they're in the upright, they're very honest, very intentional, very strategic, and they do have a, a heart underneath. They're like the Tin Man, <laughs> right? There is a heart in there. Is it the Tin Man that needed a heart? Yeah. So they're tinny, right? This is kind of, the air signs are a little tinny at times. You know, they're, they're a little like, like that cold metal on the outside, but there is a heart underneath there. Okay. I don't feel like this is your past person, right? I feel like this is someone who's, you know, if you were dealing with an air sign in the past that was like, eh, gag me with a spoon, I don't feel like that's them. Okay. This is new. It's a new connection. So try not to make a new person pay for what the past person did, especially if they are of the same sign. And if you feel like you have to tell yourself not to do that, you're probably not, don't have enough distance from your past relationship. If you feel like you might still do that. Okay. So start off as friends. All right. All right. I'm going to get a couple more cards here and then uh, move on. Cause I really spent a long time doing this, just the cards here. All right, what other messages does Virgo need to know for themselves? Oh, there's the star. Okay, Virgo's going to be... Some of you um, um, testing the water in your pool, doing a little chemical test, or you might meet someone who's doing that, and you're just like, oh, they're in that bikini. They get that mom-dad bod, but yeah, looking good, looking good. A little thick, yummy. <laughs> You might connect with somebody at a pool party. Okay, so Virgo, the star is, this is you being, um, well, like a star. You know what I mean? Like um, the brightest star in the sky is the sun. Um, maybe a north star energy. But there is something here for you about renewal, hope, and healing. And gaining your faith, having your faith back. I don't know, something, they're giving me twinkle, twinkle, little star. Um, everybody knows that song, so that might re resonate for someone maybe was singing it or is going to sing it or I don't know. I always think of that Incubus song. Um, and I can't remember, but, and I should because I knew them things by heart, but my short term memory completely gone. Um, backlit canopy stars in the backlit canopy. It's, um, I think it's I Wish You Were Here, uh, that song. You could be wishing that someone um, was here with you as well. And I feel like um, they are when you look at the stars at night. They're one of those stars. That person, especially if they've passed on, them and all of your ancestors are up there in the sky. Uh, so you're never alone, Virgo. And you also have judgment. Wow. These are profound cards. 
there is a revelation that you're going to have at night coming up for you in May. Um, around May, between the 17th and the 20th is going to be a significant time. And it's funny because um, we do have a new moon on May 19th. So I feel like um, when you're out there at night, like this is a precursor for you to set your intentions for the new moon on May 19th, because I do feel like with judgment, there's going to be something very profound revealed to you. Look, there's your card about yourself. Let me see. What's going to be revealed also? Wow, the devil. I hope the devil doesn't show his face. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. There's a healing. A blessing. So if you or a person you know were struggling with some kind of an addiction, uh, whatever it might be, um, struggling with recovery, there's grace is going to be given. Grace is like a grace period where you're going to be given the gift of grace or another person is to heal from something. Grace is not a temporary thing and it doesn't just come for a little while. Grace is permanent. So, you know, whatever you're dealing with or another person is connecting, dealing with or a relationship that was very toxic grace is going to be given. If you've been asking for healing and for hearts to be turned in a healing direction between you and another person, um, whoever they might be, someone special to you, I feel like that, you know, God is listening and is going to give that grace. If your intentions are good and you're sincere, um, with your higher power if you truly mean it you know i feel like that's the it's a gift and a gift can sometimes be a burden like i said yesterday but you know if you've been praying or you've been like asking for healing and renewal and hope for recovery of a relationship or with a with a family member or a, a spouse or a lover or a friend um but doing that in private i feel like that's going to come definitely you know even for your pet if you have a pet who's ill yeah i'm not guaranteeing anything but i do see grace here okay i'm not saying that please i have to be careful because i don't want you to think that it, it's not to do like if someone is i'm not god and i'm 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 not god's messenger i am just giving messages that i'm receiving okay and i do feel like whatever with the devil card whatever kind of grip obsession sexual lust greed envy or an addiction maybe even materialism either in your life in other people's lives in the world like there's grace coming and a new start a new beginning okay um a cleanse that's all I can say, really, because this is this is very much like toxic energy here. And this is a cleanse. Look at all that. The showers, the water, you know. Um, they're also telling me new baby, baby shower, a new beginning, hope restored, potential for a brand new, like a cleanse. You know, like that feeling after you've been out in the dirt <laughs> and the sweat, and then you get in that nice very lovely um i don't know the word exhilarating shower of some sort or in the water the water is so healing so that's coming okay especially in in may let me see what your this might go on longer than an hour you guys let me see what your um messages of love are okay obstacles all right unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Remember I said there are blocks to your abundance. Your abundance is on the other side of your restrictions that you have in place. And some of you, your restriction might be an addiction. Okay. Or it's somebody else. This could be about somebody else. Um, we have to like 
release those ties or those chains that bind us from reaching it's like a, like a chained animal can't get to the water bowl because they're chained well who chained them there you've changed your have you chained yourself or are you chained to something or another person okay the the chain is the obstacle if the chain is broken you are free okay and the chain represents either some unhealed wounds okay um so what do you do with those unhealed wounds you accept them that they happened and you nurse them with love and compassion and care and you forgive and you move on right because you can't change them but you have to get you, you kind of you know some people say oh i don't want to go back and open those unhealed wounds you can't open unhealed wounds because they're already open they're unhealed you you can only open healed wounds but you really gotta like dig in to open them up because once they're healed they're healed do you know what i mean so if you've got some kind of covering over your we your wounds and you're masking um you may need to go back and kind of talk about some of that stuff to kind of bring it to the surface maybe it just wasn't fully cleansed okay but the cleansing is coming for sure all right what other message of love here like what got you into an addiction in the first place if this is for you okay all right <laughs> obsession some of you um some of you had an addiction to a person the lights are on but no one's home young it's not your own okay some of you have you're gripped by thoughts of an of another person you're obsessed with thoughts of somebody and this obsession and addiction and i'm not talking to all of you and if it's you you don't have to sh you don't have to speak up just hear hear me out if this is you and you feel obsessed like the only person you should be obsessed and addicted to is god no one should come before god okay or the light within you right but if you've got that um idolatry thing going on obsessed or addicted to a person that's blocking you from your blessings do you know what i mean that is the blockage that needs to be healed because no one like you gotta ask yourself why am i so obsessed with this person what's going on were they a narcissist that happens but that's some stuff that needs to be healed there that's what i feel like is happening here okay it could be obsessiveness addiction habitual attachment to anything and everything where it's just running your life or it's ruining your life okay um stuff maybe you didn't want to talk about or tell other people uh if you want to do it on your own that's fine um but bring it to god too okay no man is an island what else do you have all right and then comes the spiritual awakening and a spiritual transition so virgo this feels mostly like it's all about you and you looking at your your stuff lean on your inner circle during this time someone that you were connected with or this person that you were crazy about is um emotionally unavailable you need to forgive yourself um and them if you wish and you know move forward from someone that you just got very stuck on that perhaps you should have let that person go a long time ago especially if they weren't trying to have a connection with you virgo and you know what virgo don't beat yourself up it happens to everybody everybody gets a little bit goes a little bit over the top for someone they really like it's a human thing you know um take me for example i'm obsessed with chocolate cake like i can't even that's my my nemesis that's my achilles heel and you know what <laughs> it's all or nothing honestly like it's all or nothing so um i just don't completely get rid of it i just kind of try to control it <laughs> the urge but all right let me get into the moon pie tarot messages and see what else you need to know here I don't think i'm enough time to upload this video i better hurry it up all right take a risk virgo this is a fool what have you got to lose starting over can be tough but it's time to spread your wings don't overthink things and you've got girls night out or guys night out in the reverse 
and financial loss was in the reverse so you're not going to have a financial loss okay that's good so all right um, some of you just need to get out there with your friends um, spread your wings and don't think too much just go dancing um, or just do something right wealth health and abundance that's what i'm talking about all of that is like right at the other side of your blockages the other side of your your wall the other side of your restrictions so let's get into let's see a chinese signs this is you or another person oh i still have cards what the hold on y'all hold on let me get these turned around. I'm so bad with that. I need to hire somebody just to come in and shuffle my cards and flip them all. I wonder if I can hire someone to do that. Like, you just got to spend 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes shuffling all the cards, and I have a lot of cards. All right. First card out of the gate is we have Year of the Dog, Year of the Rat, Year of the Monkey, okay. Year of the Goat, Year of the Dog again. Oh, a whole bunch. All right, Year of the Ox. All right, we're gonna just grab a couple. Oh, there's the Goat again, oops. And the ox again. Hello. All right. Rooster is here. And the horse. Okay. Last but not least, you guys, I'm going to skip the, the um, names and randoms. I'm just going to the dice and the numbers. So I'll have, um, I'm recording this very late. I've had a busy day. So I actually wasn't going to record today, but I didn't want to miss you guys. So let's just get into the dice and the numbers. And then, um, Tomorrow we'll do the names. Okay. All right. This was a crazy. All right. We have Aries twice. Sagittarius, I see. And Taurus. Aries, Taurus, and Sag. Okay. Here's your numbers. September 9th, September 18th. Mm, okay. Someone is 40. Someone was born in 1971. Um, someone 59. Okay, 1978. And someone is 58 years of age. Okay. All right, so uh, August 23rd. And I think September 23rd, they just told me. But I don't know. Is that Libra? I can't remember. Um, somebody might be a cusp. Um, September 15th. Um, September, uh, August 27th. Excuse me. Um, someone's 56. We also have someone who's 60 years of age. Um, age 33. September 15th. Did I say 5th? Also 12th. Can't remember if I said them. Um, okay, number 312, 1972, and 6056. 6056. Okay, and for signs. All right, Scorpio. Pisces, Aries again, and Cancer. Okay, let's do your charms. Let's see what we have here. Let's drop three. Okay. All right. So we do have a flower. Okay, Virgo. Something, you've got some kind of attachment to a flower here. And this is a green and yellow flower. Um, green flowers? How, is there such a thing? Don't know if I've seen a green flower anywhere. Um, this could be, I mean, it could be like a negative of a sunflower picture, but there's something to do with flowers here. And also, um, 
I'm I'm seeing something to do with the night with the seventies, the nineteen seventies, significant flower child, flower power stuff going on. They're just showing me. I mean, this just reminds me of something that you would like see on the side of like an old Volkswagen bus or something. You know, these flowers. I don't know, it's a pattern or you might somebody might have this decor, the yellow and green in their kitchen. Um, I don't know if it's that olive green and that gold yellow, God forbid, the avocado and the gold yellow, I don't know. I'm really dating myself here, but maybe that's coming back in or someone's like, you know, I'm going to bring those colors back. Something to do with that, okay? Or you see a kitchen or some kind of decor like that. Um, so you also have Virgo. Uh, somebody's having sun, sunflower um, or a iced tea, alcoholic drink, I think. Long Island iced tea, I just heard. But you've got, um, yeah, a... I thought it was a wrench, but it looks like it's um, a bottle opener. So are you using a bottle opener right now? Or you will be. You might get... Oh, okay, that's so weird. Somebody just... All right. Gosh, sometimes you guys, you, if you could be in my head with these messages I get, it's going to make no sense to you, but I see it clear as day. Um, some of you got to get your throat checked for like tonsillitis or strep throat or something, um, or there might be some allergies that turn into something in your throat. Maybe you have that going on um, right now. Get to the doctor. Um, you might need antibiotics. I don't know if you do or not. I'm not a doctor, but there's something like open up your mouth. Ah, uh, so you can check your throat. Okay. There's something going on with somebody's throat. Um, you might be opening a bottle of fizz or something fizzy to kind of like soothe your throat. It might be burning hot. I just heard, or that will be happening in May. And you also have a masquerade mask. Okay, this is something here also to do, oh, you guys, again, I'm just telling you right now, I was talking about, and they just gave it to me again, I was talking about Batman or Batgirl, I don't know what the connection is to that, I mean, I don't even know, like, if that's even what it looks like, the mask, I don't really remember, in fact, I don't even know, was there a Batgirl movie? I just remember that old TV sitcom had a Batgirl in purple, I'm sure there was something after that, but... I don't know, but I'm not like really a superhero cosplay kind of person, so I'm not really sure, but I remember that stuff when I was a kid. But there is um, something here to do with a mask, and I remember I told you earlier it was something about dropping the mask, okay? Either you or another person. Um, this is very important um, for you at this time to remember something to do with a mask, okay? Either you have to drop your own get real with yourself or another person needs to do this um hold on oh okay and well uh, yeah simple they just they they said tell the tell the person who's listening to this who's got a mask over their eyes laying in bed listening to this um that we're watching over you right now <laughs> If you got some kind of like sleep mask or some kind of gel mask or something over your eyes, you're, you got your headphones in or you're listening to this laying in bed, um, they said, uh, don't worry, we got your back. <laughs> and also, um, some of you just bought a new pair of sunglasses or you're wearing them right now or you're heading to buy them or you just buy them or you're on your way. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to leave that message there. Um, that was very interesting. I kind of like those messages because they're not too psychologically deep, but they are a little predictive. So yeah, if you guys want to get a personal reading, just remember there's a link in the description box below this video. You can book with Casey and Brandy will be available this weekend for you to book with her. Um, the, it's 50% discounted for personal phone readings. So definitely take advantage of that if you can. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys hopefully back here tomorrow. Um, I do have plans, but they're tentative right now. So if you don't see me, that means that my plans have been made and I'm, I'm doing my thing. But if you do see me, then yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye.